In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a Norse Sherping class missile boat as used by the Swedish Navy. There's also a version of this ship currently in use by the Malaysian Navy as well. Now, if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, guys, if you're interested in more warship tutorials, I'll leave a link in the card above to the full playlist. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. So here we are on my flat world. Um, so in this introduction section, I'm going to be talking about the dimensions and how many blocks underwater you'll be placed in this one. So first of the dimensions, it is 46 blocks long from end to end. Uh, there is this tiny little shelf on the back, but apart from that, that's it. You know, it's not, it's not really, you can't save any space <laughs> with the stuff on the back. Sometimes there's a flag and that ends up having a bit of extra blocks in it, but not with this one. Um, it is seven blocks wide and it is 20 blocks high. It's not a really tall ship, it's not a really big ship, uh, but it's still very, very cool. I quite like the design of it. I thought it was quite interesting looking and that's kind of why I went with it. Um, so yeah, other little bits. If you did want to know, you know, where you're kind of going to be starting from, if you're building this one in dock, for example, this will kind of help you out a little bit. Um, it's actually nine blocks to the first slab. They usually people are interested more in like around here um, if they wanted to to know really with this one because it kind of is quite, I don't know, it doesn't go up like this. So it's not really a good curve. It's quite sharp, I guess is the right word for that. Um, it depends on what you're want, wanting really, but this is just one, you know, one block, three blocks, five blocks. That'll give you an idea of where it is at the front. So underwater, where are you going to be doing that? Well, it's just going to be these two red layers. So it's pretty pretty shallow really uh, as a ship goes. So your water layer will be on the second level here. So if you are building it in the water, have a block at the same level as that water, go down one, and then that is where your starting point is going to be. So your water will be up here on this block here. Cool. Anyway, guys, that is it for the introduction section. So let's get into building. So for layer number one, what we're going to be uh, doing is if we're building the box, so if you guys have built the box of 46 going back and then seven blocks wide, uh, find the middle of that one and we're going to be nine blocks back. So this is if you guys are building it in a tight space uh, where you want it to kind of fit perfectly. Um, so from here, we're going to be nine blocks back from directly in the middle. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. What we're going to need is a couple of blocks that apparently I haven't actually got, which is never brick uh, slab. Uh, we're also going to need the stairs, a red concrete block. We're also going to need a dark oak fence and a cage fence. We're not going to need these other things at all. Uh, well, not yet anyway. So we're going to have three slabs on the upper piece right here. One, two, and three. We're then going to have seven blocks behind that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. On the last three of these, we're going to have slabs. One, two, and three. We're then going to have three blocks, one, two, and three behind that. Then we're going to go over to our slabs and we're going to have 13 slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13, like that. We're going to move inwards now and we're going to have, including this one, five slabs. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five, like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have two blocks right at the end there, like that. And that kind of finishes up that bit. So we're actually going to do the same on the other side here. So we're going to have three slabs there, three blocks behind this, one, two, three. Then we have that 13, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then we're going to have those five slabs that'll get us to here. So we're going to add in an extra slab right here and here. And then the rest are going to be blocks. So, you know, fill this all up with your red concrete blocks. Um, if you've got World Edit, which is a mod for um, what's it called, Java version, <laughs> then you can actually use Fill R, which will fill a radius around you. Um, which does, you know, in this case, wouldn't have really saved me that much time of typing the command, um, but you know, it does a little bit. Right. So on the back, what we're going to do is we're going to have two dark oak fence gates going out to here. Then we're going to have the acacia fence gate, and we're going to put it sideways and punch it through like that. On the sides right here, we're going to go to the second slab and we're going to have a set of five of the dark oaks going towards the back. One, two, three, four, and five. And then the same again with the acacia. So the acacia bit is the little propeller on in the end of it. One, two, three, four, and five. And then punch that in. You can just have it going sideways as well if you wanted to. It's totally up to you guys. I just decided to go with this for no real reason. 
Um, and then we're just going to put in the last bit, which is going to be the rudder. So place the block on your edge and go in. So there should be an upside down stair, red never brick stair, um, just in there like that. So upside down, red never brick stair, like that. And that is it, guys, for layer number one. And now for layer number two, what we're going to do is, with your red concrete, we are going to be two forwards from the slab. So this is where we start, we go one, two, like that. Now in total, this is actually going to be six blocks. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six, like that. Right at the front, we're going to put a red neverick slab, right on the front of that one there. You can, if you want, get rid of your guide blocks. Um, I typically do, but it's totally up to you guys. Now, the last three of these blocks are going to have slabs on the side, one, two, and three. Then we're going to have seven blocks behind this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then the last five are going to be slabs, one, two, three, four, and five. Then behind this, we're going to have three blocks, one, two, and three. Then we're going to go out of our slabs and have 19 slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen like that. What we're also going to do right here is we're actually going to have a block. So this is to connect the rudder up or support the rudder, I guess. That's probably more accurate. Um, so that's what's going to go on right there like that. Also, we've uh, not the rudder, sorry, the propeller shafts. That's the one. Uh, on the rudders, we actually are going to put a block on anyway. So put a block on top of those two there. Also, if we go to the inside here, diagonal off of the propeller um, kind of shaft helping thing. Go diagonal and go in, do that on the other side as well. And then finally, right in the middle here, place a block and go forwards by one like that. So those are going to be your blocks. Um, so right, what we're going to do now, we're going to have slabs in between here and all the way in between here. But don't go to the line, just slab the rest like this. There we go. It's a lot easier. Once you've got these blocks in, it all kind of works, I guess, hopefully. Um, so that's what we end up getting right there. The only other slab is to have a slab on this side right here. So just in here over the top of those and then the rest of them can be blocks. So we can now fill this all up with blocks like this. There we go. So we'll do the same on the other side. So those, those ones here, we've got three slabs. Then what we've got behind that are seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we've got five slabs. One, two, three, four, five. Behind that, we've got three blocks, one, two, three. Then we're going to go out and have that 19 run, but we can just bring that all the way back because that will bring us to the same point as the other side. And then we can just um, do that extra slab here. And then we can just fill this all in with red concrete behind this. Oops. There we go, there. Right there. And that is it, guys, for layer number two. And now for layer number three, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go onto our black layer. So you're going to need black stone slab and also black concrete. So right on the front here, we're going to go forwards with one block like that. So we're forwards from one. And we're going to have a black stone slab right on the front of that one right there like that. This one in total is going to be three blocks. So one, two and three like that. The last two are going to have slabs in them, one and two. Then behind this, we're going to have five blocks. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to have two slabs on the back of this. One and two. And then behind this, six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. On the side of this, we're going to have three slabs. One, two, and three. And the next bit, black concrete is going to go all the way back right to the end. You even go over here and you go across this back piece right here like that. And the only thing we need to do is add in this little shelf of black stone slabs that is on the upper piece. And we're just going to put these on the back of this like that. So I'll do the same on the other side very quickly. So we get that two, one, two. Then we get a five, one, two, three, four, five. Last two, one, two. Then a six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then three slabs, one, two, and three. And then pull this all the way back. And we will, here we go get to there. That is it guys for layer number three. And now for layer number four, what you're going to need to do is grab stone slab, stone stairs and light grey concrete. Although we won't use them straight away, we will use them in the next layer, especially the, well, the stone stair we will. So uh, what we're going to do from here is go forwards by one like this. Um, and then we're going to have a stone slab on the front of that one. This is going to be two blocks. 
So I put another block behind that. Put a stone slab either side of that. And then we're going to have four blocks behind this. One, two, three, and four. The last two are going to have slabs on them. One, two. Behind this, you're going to have six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then what we're going to do, bizarrely, is have a lower slab. Yep, that's right, a lower slab. And it's because of these torpedo tube type things. It looks like they can go down here and then go off. That's that's the only thing I can think of. But there is like a cut in the hole to make that work. So it kind of makes sense to me. <laughs> they're, they're pretty big tubes as well. They're pretty big torpedoes. Uh, or launch tubes even, shall I say. Cool. So what we're going to do now, after that, is it's just going to be straight back. With your light grey concrete. So you just go all the way around. Not to the to the uh, slab at the back. That is a shelf uh, for whatever reason. I guess to get onto the ship or if you've got little ships. I, guess, I don't know. Something. Somebody will know exactly what that's for. I've seen them before on other ships as well. So it kind of makes sense. Um, so we'll do the same on the other side here. So we're going to have that four. Then two slabs. Then six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then your lower slab right there like that. But guys, that's it for layer number four. And now for layer number five, which is the final bit of the main hull of the ship. Well, apart from this little bit at the front, but we'll sort that out when we do the chains. So what we're going to do is place a block of light grey concrete right on the front here. We're then going to have an upside down stair right on the side of that one there like that. I'm just having to have a look here because that is actually just a slab. It's weird. Some of the, the angles like this was looking like a block to me because I could see that, that one and something underneath it. But right on the side of that have just a normal uh, slab. Then what we're going to do is going to have a normal stair, bizarrely, and that's because, although I haven't put an anchor on this one, this is where the anchor chain would go. That's the idea of that one. So we've got that, so I'm just going to do the same on the other side very quickly. A slab there, stair there like that. Two blocks behind it. One, two, one, two. And we're going to have an upside down stone stair. An upside down stone stair like that. And then we're going to bring this block back. I don't know how many blocks. I know that that's really helpful, um, but what we're going to have here is going to have a slab, uh, slab, block, slab, block. So there we go. It's nearly there. It's one block off. So that's what we're going going for there. So to a block right there, slab there. Put those in, and now what we can do is we can bring this all the way around. So it's just on top of the last layer. Which is always nice and easy. Like that. Um, now you can put the pennant number on if you want to. Um, I think it's like T for torpedo boat or something like that. Um, it's up to you guys what number you want to give it. I've given mine 131 which I think is the lead vessel um, of this class. So that's what I've gone for. So I'll leave a link in the card above. Uh, card above in the description actually. I'll leave a link in the description to the banners. A uh, really cool website that shows you, well basically you can just tick what colour text you want and what colour background you want. Uh, I go with the grey and white text. But I'll, I'll give you guys that uh, and it does the command block variants of it as well to save you some time. Uh, but yeah, where we're going to put this, leave a block from this, what I'm going to call the torpedo ramp. Um, we're going to have T, I'm going to go with 13 this time. So it's an earlier one, not 131. Uh, but there we go. So I'll go with that right here. So nice and cool. And then obviously you can you could continue onto there, not to T, but on three one, we can free free, whatever. Um, do whatever you need to do. Depends on how many you're going to build, really, doesn't it? Um, and if you want real ships or not, grab yourself some terra, uh, cyan terracotta, and this is where you're going to fill in the deck. So that's nice and easy as well. So it's a little bit of a task for you guys to do. I'm going to use World Edit to make my life a lot easier, but we're going to replace air with cyan terracotta. And then it'll just go in and does it all for me, which is fantastic. Sometimes it saves me time, sometimes it doesn't. It's one of those. It's, it really is. Um, we might as well put in the next level's uh, iron bars, so because I can just see that, so why not? So leave a block here, and then the iron bars are going to go all the way back around the back of the ship, onto the other side. So might as well get this done, because the next couple layers we're actually not going to do as layers. We're going to do them as little discrete sections um, by themselves. It's just much easier, because otherwise if you just do it by layer by layer, I can show you guys. It'll look like this, which, it, it, you know, you would like building all of the bits, all of the components at different times, trying to then figure out what's going on, and it, it just 
for me it doesn't really work. Um, so for the front part of it we're going to leave three blocks, one, two, three, and then we're going to go to the next one, we're going to have iron bars going to this stair here. And we'll complete the front of the ship probably next in fact, so three of those are going to be left like that. So let's do that then. So right at the front what we're going to do is right here we're going to just build any block. Um, we're going to have an upside down stone stair on the front here like this. Then we're going to have an upside down stair going on this side. A bit odd but it's because there's like almost this curved looking guard thing on the front so that's what I'm trying to go for with this. We're then going to have a normal stair going in and then two stone slabs like that. What we're going to do right here now is with a polished black stone slab, have one right in here, so where it gets to the free wide, and just have it going around an anvil. That's what's going to be going on here. We're then going to cut these two out, and well, actually all three of those out. We're going to have two upper slabs here, and then a lower slab here, and that will be the chains going in there, so that you can see that going on with that bit. What we're now going to do is we're going to put in the little guard here for the gun. Uh, we're going to have polished andesite slabs and stairs. So you're going to have two polished andesite slabs. We're then going to have an upside down polished andesite stair right here on the edge of this one. Then we're going to have another polished andesite stair going this way and then this way. And then right at the front we're going to have one polished andesite stair. This is the best I could do with cramped spaces. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was quite sharp actually. It was, it was Usually they're quite rounded. Uh, this one was quite you know, the other way it was more like that. Uh, elliptical, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word or not, but I'm going to go with it. Uh, so they're going to have the upside down stair here, and then you're going to have your two slabs like that. Uh, and that finishes up that little front section, so we can now get onto the gun and probably the torpedo launches. Now for the gun, and we'll do the torpedo parts as well, why not? What we're going to do right here is we're going to need our polished blackstone stairs and we've got this 3x3 three three gap in here and that's where we're going to place the gun. So we're just going to have stairs wrapping around as the base of this. And then what we're going to do is on either side of this we're going to have a stone stair like that. In the middle we're going to have polished andesite slab. This is what I've been using for my cannons lately, the actual barrels of them. And we're going to go up just with three slabs in total. So it's going to be going to be three slabs in total, one, two, and three. You can also go with, um, you know, other slabs if you want to. Um, we're actually going to have a polished blackstone slab right behind this one as well. Then we're going to have stone going around this, like that. And then finally, with some stone slabs, we're going to go around this here, like that. So you can see where the gun can move to, can go quite high. Um, but, you know, it's a really small, dinky little gun, so I need to try and make it look a little bit dinky I guess. Um, you could you know if you want to change up bits you know put on like stairs on the back or something like that that'll make it look cooler uh, but I was trying to do the mm, more realistic looking one. Um, it's one of those things with Minecraft you know you can tweak it and you make it you can actually make it look cooler quite easily but then they're less accurate to the real thing so I'll, I'd rather give you guys the choice uh, rather than anything. So I've got to count the blocks there. I'm pretty sure it's just two blocks. Yeah it is. So from behind this, we're just going to be one block off center, leave two block gap. Then we're going to have six blocks of light concrete. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We'll do it on the other side as well. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to have polished andesite on the back five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, five, like that. Uh, then what we're going to do is right here, we're going to have your smooth, uh, smooth quartz blocks like that go all the way to the front and then we're gonna have an upside down smooth quartz stair on the front of that now from the back move in by two and just have two slabs on top of these there so blocks all the way right until the front and then an upside down stair and leave one block then the next two are slabs on top of that you put buttons and things on top of it as well if you wanted to or try and make it look fancier um, they're pretty much these look like big tubes that can then just launch torpedoes. Pretty cool idea really, <laughs> it really is, but terrifying at the same time. It's one of those. But there we go guys, that is it for the gun and torpedo type stuff. So we're going to get on to the bridge next. And now for the bridge, what we're going to do is one block behind the torpedo type things. We're going to have three blocks, one, two and three going across. 
Then we're going to have eight blocks going back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And similar to my archer patrol vessel, um, you know, if you wanted to put trapdoors on the sides of these, you could do instead of having the iron bars. Uh, so you can actually walk around, but otherwise you're, you're kind of stuck. Um, it's not great, but it is what it is. So we go get eight blocks going that way. Then right at the end, what we're going to do is we're going to have a block and a block. And this will make more sense in a second because we're going to also need some polished blackstone stairs. So we're going to have normal stairs this way, then upside down stairs here like that. On the top of this, we're going to have stone stairs. Just three of those going over the top. So this, this is what I think is the smokestack. It's actually angled um, quite a bit backwards, but it just doesn't... I didn't think it looked right when I had stairs going this way and then stairs going that way underneath it. Um, it kind of just made the missile parts look even more cramped. So that's why I would decide to go with this. Up to you guys what you want to do though. So above this, we're going to have three lots of light grey concrete and just plonk down the sides on those. Uh, in fact, actually, these two sides I ended up switching out for doors because it was quite a nice little natural place for a door. Um, although, saying that, um, you can't really do much. There we go. Like that. So you can get in, but you, you can't obviously get to the front of the ship. So, yeah, there we go. So what we're going to do now is we'll build this up. Um, I'm going to have to count. One, two, three, four. I thought it was four, but you never know. So one, two, three, and four, like that. There we go. Build that up as well. So this one, just build up to three high. And that's because this little shack here, this little bit at the top here, it's not really a shack. The bridge part of it uh, is just there like that. So we're going to have three blocks of glass on top of this. Uh, this one will build up and have a block of glass on. Then behind this, we're going to have two blocks. So two blocks up there. Do the same here. So we'll build this all up to three high. Then this one's going to be built up. And those two there are going to be built up. So then plonk a piece of glass in there like that. Then what we're going to do behind this is we're going to have three blocks of your light grey concrete behind it. And that's where we're going to have a door in here. So I'm actually going to just grab some cyan. Now I made this a little bit bigger than it needed to be. Purely so I can get the um, the like a little bit of a deck underneath here. This was actually squished down one more block if you want to make it more accurate. Um, but I just thought you know you're going to want to go inside, <laughs> and this otherwise is a waste of space. So that's why I made it one block taller. Um, but yeah, there we go. So just put the deck in there as well. So that's now all sorted. On the side here now, what we're going to do with our light grey concrete is we're going to go out and we're going to have three blocks of light con grey concrete, two and three there on the side, and then one block going in. So one block there, one, two, three. Now this is a lot bigger than the actual ship has, I should say that. <clears throat> um, and then we're going to put some guns on the side, here we go. So I put them facing forwards, you could have them facing sideways if you wanted to, where you just have a dark oak fence gate and then the fence gate on the back and then punch that through. Um, these look like little guns, I mean they look like chain guns but they didn't look like huge big machine gun type things uh, like that. With your stone slab on this part here just put two stone slabs just on the front pieces of it and the same on the back there like that. Right we're going to do over the top of the little bridge section uh, with some slabs so we're going to have some slabs over here and on top of the glass. Just do it on top of the glass for the time being. Uh, and one more back. Right here we're going to have a stone stair. Another stone stair there. Then a smooth quartz slab on top of those stone stairs. Like that. Right in the middle behind this block here we're actually going to have a stone... whoops. We're going to have... we're going to have a stone stair like that. So smooth quartz stair like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have an upside down quartz stair and then a smooth quartz slab either side of that. Okay. And then it's just on the back part of it. Yeah, it's on the back two parts of it. I can't see that on my picture. <laughs> so we're going to have a stair here and a stair here. And then the rest is all just going to be normal slabs. So I look at it again. What is going on? There you go like that. So it's quite a, the whole thing's quite uh, complex to say the least. So that's what we end up getting there. So behind this we're going to have a never brick fence and that fence is going to be on this stair here and we're going to bring it all the way back. 
to here and back to there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to connect this up and connect this up here. I actually think we might also connect it up there as well. Yeah, we connect it above the door as well. Now with your uh, smooth quartz, there is a little tweak actually, I just realized. Yep, there is. That's an upside down stair on that one. So knock the middle one out actually and put an upside down stone stair here. Then with our smooth quartz, what we're going to do is going to have smooth quartz going, stair going that way, that way, and then that way. And then we're going to do the same but upside down to make this little dish array thing here like that. Now we'll put in one more bit which is just going to be these four on the sides here uh, and then we're going to get onto this tower because the tower is quite complicated in its own right. I was just trying to get as far through this as I can to save myself the complexities in the next bit. So we go, so we go one, two, three and four like that. So one, two, three and four just like that with your iron bars and that'll give you some more antennas. So we'll now do the tower that we've got going on here um, with the, the little dish and it's up to you guys if you want to put two end rods on it or whatever but I'll go through the different options or go crazy why not you can go crazy if you wanted to um, but we'll go through all of this in the next section. Right so for this kind of antenna tower that we've got going on here uh, grab yourself some andesite wool and what we're going to do is we're going to go up off of the back part here with six high. So one, two, three, four, five and six. And we're going to do the same over here obviously. And we're going to leave a block and do the same. And here as well. Okay. So then we're going to join these together right here. And we're also going to join them together at the third block. So right here. So it will connect into the iron bars, it's annoying, but it is what it is. Right on the front, what we're going to do is we're going to have a lower stone slab here, like that. Then we're going to have a smooth quartz stair, and then a quartz slab on top of that, smooth quartz slab on top of that. Right in here, we're going to have stone slabs on the front and on the, on the bottom of that bit. And we're going to have a stone stair on the side looking in, and a stone stair on the side looking in. And then a stone block right in the middle. Don't have to really do this at all. It's uh, totally up to you guys, whatever you want to do. What we're going to do then is with andesite stairs, we're going to have andesite stair looking outwards like that. Then move in, then go out there like that. So it's the opposite of what we did with this bit, basically. And we're going to do the same as well, uh, just upside down. So we're going to have to build a block out to get that upside down in there. Like this there we go that will give us that and then you can put an end rod on one part of it or the bottom part of it or something i think probably the bottom part looks better than the top part i don't know but you could go with both it's just a little antenna this of course as well um you know it's currently pointing forwards feel free to have it going sideways or backwards or whatever because this will be the spinning bit so uh you know go with that if you wanted to right at the back now what we're going to do is create yourself a block that you can use to put a stone stair on like this. Then with never brick fence we're going to just bring a whole strip of never brick fence all the way down until you hit into the uh, stairs that you got at the back here like that. Then above this go up with two pieces of never brick fence. Then you're going to go out with two. One, two. One and two. And then with your iron bars, we're going to have the iron bar on the top and on the bottom of these. On top and bottom. In the middle, we're going to have two never brick fence. And then on the top, we're going to do something I haven't done before, I don't think, anyway. Um, you guys might know better than me, but uh, a redstone torch. You can also put, obviously, the end rod on there or a lantern or whatever you want, really. Um, I just went with a redstone torch because it's, it's red. It's a little light and it's not too bright. So that's the only reason I went with that. But that is it for the tower, which was seemingly easier than the rest of the bridge, but that's all done. So it's now just the missile parts of it. So for the final bit, we are going to put in these kind of missiles, what I'm guessing they are, uh, uh, kind of you know slanted up and they're at an angle about of this angle. Now, of course, anything that really isn't straight doesn't always work in Minecraft, especially when it's on a small scale. If it's on a big scale, it kind of works. So this was the best I could do. Um, I decided to go with smooth quartz for these, but you can go with anything you want. I just wanted them to look kind of stand out, similar to with the torpedo tubes being white, just to make them stand out uh, from the rest of the ship, because, you know, blocks are blocks. 
So what we're going to do with our polished andesite is right at the back here, we're going to have a polished andesite stair. So one from the side, then we're going to leave a block and we're going to go to the side with this one. So we're going to do the same here. And then we're going to do the same again, this step pattern, just going to be one block gap from those two there like that. Okay, so that will give us the base. Now what we do, we're just going to build one at the beginning. We're going to have a block of smooth quartz. Then we're going to have a block at the back as well going over. Now we're going to move sideways and we're going to have a slab with a slab on top of it. Then we're going to move out again and this time it's going to be a blocks. So we've got two blocks here like that. We're going to have upside down stair. So that's the smooth quartz stair there to connect it up. So that it at least looks supported. That's what's going on there. And then the rest are exactly the same. So where you get the stair, you get a block on top of it. Go back with one block. Then we're going to have a slab. So it goes diagonal and then goes up a slab. Then we go diagonal and go up a block. And then that's what you get. We should also, they don't seem to stick on these though. Um, and what I mean by that is like copy with um, word edit. Um, should also have item frames on the ends of these. You can you know, obviously put something in there if you wanted to, but I've just gone with that. Uh, tell you what, we will even... Uh, I'm just going to put an actual fireworks rocket on it. There we go. Now now nobody will question what those are. <laughs> God, that's terrible. Right, so we're going to go here and have some blocks. Go diagonal with your slabs. And then go up as well with your blocks. Get your upside down stair in. I think we probably forgot an upside down stair. Yeah, we did on this one. Put that in there, there like that. Same again. This is where it all ends up because there's quite a few of them ends up getting quite messy very quickly. So we're going to put in the stair there and then go up like that. And again, put the rockets on. Then no one will question what it is. They're definitely missiles. But, you know, it's the best I could do with what I've got. Um, so that's why I went with that. Um, I did also on this one, and I'm not totally sure about it. It makes it look messier. I did put in these extra slabs. Uh, I, I, honestly, I think it looks, makes it look worse now. Uh, but I had a slab here and a slab here. And I just did that on all of them. So that's what ends up happening. I honestly think it makes it look messier and, and probably worse. But if you wanted to do it, you can do it. Okay. So that's what's going on. Um, but yeah, nice and fun. Why not? There we go. Bit of fireworks for you. Somewhere. Who knows? Maybe it just doesn't work in shaders, I don't know. Um, but yeah, guys, that is it for the ship anyway. Um, it'd be really cool if you guys are fancying a bit of a challenge to make the Malaysian versions of this because it's in like a full camo and it looks really cool. Um, I would love to see a version of that in full camo. Um, it, it just is very cool. It's just very, very difficult to then tutorial that. Um, it really is to do a, a camo tutorial on a ship, I think would make it extremely difficult. But um, there you go, guys, the Nor Shoping, uh, or something like that. I'm sure I butchered the pronunciation on the beginning of the video, as well as just then. But I have tried looking it up on Google Translate to tell me how to pronounce it. And as we know, uh, Google Translate is always wrong most of the time. No, I'm joking. It's pretty good. But um, without actually knowing any sort of Swedish pronunciation, I probably messed it up. Anyway, well done for completing this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And guys, I'll see you on the next one. Later.